Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Schematic Kernel. In this video, I'm going to focus on how to connect GitHub A models. First of all, we'll understand what is GitHub A models. After that, we'll write a simple sample program in Schematic Kernel to connect GitHub A models. GitHub A model mainly available for prototyping. So if you want to develop a generative AI application or you want to learn generative AI application, you can use this GitHub AI models. And this GitHub model is 100% free. One of my video, I explained about how you can request to access this GitHub AI model. The second, I explained about the playground. The third, how you can create the token. And fourth, how you can access the GitHub AI model through code. These are the steps I explained in this video. First, watch in this video. So let's move on to our Visual Studio. We write the sample code to connect this GitHub AI models. In Visual Studio, I have created one sample project called GitHub SK. Here I have created a semantic kernel object using this Azure OpenAI chat completion. Here I passed model, endpoint, and GitHub token. This model, endpoint, GitHub token, I have explained about that video. First watch in that video so that you can get the model name, endpoint, you can create the GitHub token. So these three it's important for in this video. So here I pass this information. I have configured one of my config class, model name, endpoint, GitHub token. Once the kernel object has been created, here I requested the chat completion service and I pass the query or prompt. Could you provide me with the history of India? And I call the function get chat message content async. So once I get the response, I just print the result. That's it. So very simple program, easy to understand. First, we run this application and we see the result. So start the GitHub SK. Application has been started. Hello, connect with the GitHub A models. Oops, bug. So the issue is no authorization header found in the request. So, so we have passed this token also, but this API not accepted. Azure Open AI chat completion not accepted this model ID and token information. So this API not possible to use this one. We have to do some more current to implement this feature. Before that, we we try one more function called add open AI. Add open AI chat completion. So we use this API to connect the model, start the application. Again, it's not accepted the token. That means API key. It's not accepted. So we have to do some work around. For that, you no need to write the code. I have created the community package to use this feature. Go to NuGet package. The NuGet package, you can search this package. SK connector GitHub model. Once you find this model, first install this package. Once installation is done, go to the main program.cs file. Here, I am going to use the different API which we installed just now. So, the API name called add GitHub chat completion. You have to use this API to connect GitHub model endpoint and the token. To use this API, we can connect the GitHub A models. So which model you want to connect, GPT-4 or GPT-4 O mini, whatever it is, you can pass this model name. The second endpoint you have to pass, as I mentioned in that video, I explained about this one, endpoint and GitHub token you have to pass. So all the information I passed, I save the file, we restart the application again.
here we get the result from github a model i used uh, gpt 40 i used gpt 40 model and we get the result so if you want to connect github a model using semantic kernel you can use this package the package called uh, azure a community sk connector github model